More than 100 people are now dead and 1,600 are sick in Mexico from a swine flu scare that is affecting the entire world. Mexico is the center of the attention. Soldiers are handing out millions of face masks to people, but for the most part, day-to-day -day activities have stopped. The government is urging anyone with flu-like symptoms to stay home from work today. The deadly virus has shown up in as many as seven other countries, including Canada and the U.S. No deaths have been reported here in the U.S., but it has been confirmed in five states, New York, Kansas, California, Texas, and Ohio. In all, 20 people are reported sick. Eight of them are from New York, and they all go to a high school that has been shut down for the next few days. Officials say the infected students have recovered or are recovering. While eight cases have been confirmed, more than 100 students are suspected to have been infected. Health officials think they started getting sick last week after some returned from a spring break trip to Cancun. Some schools in Texas and California have also been shut down. The U.S. government has declared a public health emergency. That sounds more uh, severe than really it is. This is standard operating procedure uh, and it allows us to free up federal, state, and local agencies and their resources for prevention and mitigation. It allows us to use medication and diagnostic tests that we might not otherwise be able to use. What do you think of Mr. Hamilton? The government has freed up roughly 12 million doses of flu-fighting medications to states that may eventually need them. There is no vaccine against swine flu, but the Center for Disease Control has taken the first step for producing one by creating a seed stock of the virus. The symptoms of the swine flu appear to be pretty much the same as the regular flu. They include high fever, fatigue, sore throat, and body aches. There are some reports of nausea and vomiting. Health experts say taking proper precautions are essential to stopping the spread of the virus. At this point, for the whole country, we do think that people who have respiratory illness, who have recently traveled to Mexico, for instance, ought to be um, consulting with their doctors about um, illness. And um, in certain areas, they've issued um, different guidance. So it's, it's really important for viewers to know what's going on where they live, because it may not be similar recommendations everywhere. But, but for everybody, we think it's important. If you have respiratory illness, high fever and, and cough and such, stay home, don't go to work or school, don't, don't infect other people around you. Worldwide, focus continues to be on travelers. Some countries are planning to quarantine those arriving from infected areas if they have symptoms. Others are simply urging people not to travel. Several airlines in the U.S. are waiving their usual penalties for changing reservations for anyone traveling to or from Mexico. Even though no one has gotten sick here in Wisconsin, leaders say they're watching the situation very closely. Officials will hold a press conference this morning at 10 o'clock to give an update and to give advice on flu prevention. Keep it tuned to Fox 11 and fox11online.com for the latest developments on the swine flu, including more information from the Centers for Disease Control.